Dear Father, thank you so much for giving us this privilege to come before you in worship. Gracias, Señor, por darnos el privilegio de llegar todos juntos para adorarte y bendecir tu nombre. Today I ask you, Lord, to speak to me. Hoy te pido, Señor, que hables a través de mí. Que me quites a mí y te pongas tú. I ask you today, Lord, that you can use me. Take away our sin, take away our pain. And may you use me for your glory and use us for your glory. There's in Jesus' name that we pray that we will sit together. Amen. Amen. What a privilege. What an honor to be before God and before the church, Ragtown Church. Today I will speak about obeying and it's, it's a subject that is always seems like it's simple but it's deep at the same time. Parece que ser un tema muy sencillo pero muy, es muy profundo a la misma vez. You gotta learn with me because I'm gonna be translated so I hope you understand. Comprende un poquito? Gracias. Uh, the subject of the message today is the benefit of obeying God. And maybe you're not that used to it, but I would like you to say with me what we are going to do. And that's part of being obedient. But I know that it's simple for us, being adult, to be obedient, right? <laughs> so people laugh. Yo sé que es fácil para nosotros ser obedientes, right? ¿Verdad? Maybe the kids are not obedient. But the adults, they are obedient, right? And I hear that. Two, three, one of those tricks. Stay with me, one of those tricks. Good job. That's an eight plus for me. Okay, so I can one, two, three, and we'll say, I am obedient. You say, somos obedientes, o soy obediente. One, Two, three. I am obedient. You didn't get it. Maybe the Spanish say, so you're obedient, and then you say, obedient, so you're obedient. One, two, uno, dos, tres. So Now, the English church, one, two, three. I am obedient. That's great. One, we are obedient. Please uh, go with me to. The turn around in 28. For those that don't have the Bible, it will be on the screen. You will read it from the screen. And I will read it in both languages. So bear with me. And the Bible says, when you have it, it says, now it shall come to pass if you diligently obey the voice of the Lord your God to observe carefully all his commandments which I command you today that the Lord your God will set you high above all nations on the earth and all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you because you obey the voice of the Lord your God. Amen. Amen. So now we read it in Spanish. Deuteronomio 28. Deuteronomio 28. Y miren cómo lee Deuteronomio 28. El primer versículo. Dice la palabra de Dios. Acontecerá que si oyeres atentamente la voz de Jehová tu Dios para guardar y poner por obra todos sus mandamientos que yo te presento.
te escribo hoy, también Jehová tu Dios te exaltará sobre todas las naciones de la tierra. How great is to know that if we obey, God will bless you. How many of you want to be blessed? Amen. How we love to be blessed. One day, all of us are going to worship in the same language and we will sing the same song and we will all obey God at the same time. Can you imagine? Un día, todos vamos a estar juntos adorando al mismo Dios, cantando a Dios, obedeciendo a Él y seremos bendecidos para siempre. That's right. And I'm excited about what God can do to us, can give us when we are obedient. A simple word, right? Obey. How many times do you tell your kids? Clean the room. ¿Cuántas veces te le dice a su hijo, limpia el cuarto? And they do it right quick, right? <laughs> right quick. <laughs> they run. Yes, daddy. Yes, mommy. And Exodus 20 speak about the commitments. And one of the commitments are that shall honor your father and your mother, right? But sometimes you tell the kids, give me the homework, and mommy. And then they don't get it. Ya va a ver. A veces le decimos a nuestros hijos, obedezcan y obedezcan de la primera vez. Yes, mommy, I'll do it. And you speak to them in Spanish, they, they, they answer in English. <laughs> Whoa! I'm a little confused. Trust me, sometimes you speak to me in English, I'm like, what to say? Maybe we eat for the good Francais, we I will speak in French too. I do the piano, the drums, the organ, jump. Oh, wow, amazing. But we need to obey. We need to obey. How great it is to listen the first time. And sometimes we learn things the hard way because you didn't obey the first time. A veces no, no toma tiempo aprender y escuchar la primera vez cuando alguien nos da el consejo, nuestro padre nos da el consejo, el pastor nos da el consejo. And we need to listen to God. We need to obey. I love to obey. And maybe if I listen to my dad that has been preaching for more than 75 years, maybe I will avoid so many mistakes. Don't you think? Amen. Think about it. Not only today, but every day. I will be in God's word. Estoy obedeciendo la voz de Dios. That my kids should obey God. And we need to set an example. Tenemos que nosotros ser el ejemplo para nuestros hijos de la obediencia. If we are going to obey, we need to be an example. How are we going to tell our children, do this and do that, if we are not doing what the Bible says to do? God is confronting us. Dios nos está confrontando hoy y nos está diciendo que debemos obedecer su voz. We need to obey his word. Maybe I made a mistake, but God will not make a mistake. He's a perfect God. And I thank God for that. He's the mighty God. He's the powerful God. And I love God with all my heart. And I hope you too. Now let's move on. Now, if we go and see what Jonah did and Pastor Eric, which I thank God for Pastor Eric, yeah. is my brother, his wife. His wife is black. <laughs> <laughs> Some people say, uh, <laughs> I went to an interview. This is not a, this is not a little message, but I, I went to an interview and I sat down and uh, they looked at me from the top top bottom. Me vieron, me miraron. Uh, uh, you black, I'm Hispanic. <laughs> you got a, he told me he got a problem. <laughs> he got a problem. You don't know that much. Uh, you black, but uh, what are you? <laughs> yes, I, I love whites. I love everybody. I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go back to John and Pastor Mary, which uh, I admire your pastor and 
love your pastor. He's preaching about Jonah. So I want to touch a little bit about Jonah. Let's go to Jonah 1. Verse 1, 8, 3. And the Bible says, Vamos ir a Jonás 1, por favor. Jonás 1. And the Bible says, in Jonah 1. Now the word of the Lord came to Jonah, the son of other time, maybe you say it better than me. <laughs> say, arise, go to Nineveh. Arise. Sometimes God telling you, God's telling you, sometimes God's telling you, arise, when you still sitting down. Arise. <laughs> Please arise. They want to take. And somebody, something got you stuck. And God is telling you today, obey my word. Arise. You have to be passionate about God. Amen. Every time I come in Sunday, I enjoy worshiping here and then downstairs and then in the other church. That's my life. I want to worship God all my life. I want to, I want to, I want to see Jesus coming when I'm worshiping. Amen. I don't have time for nothing else but to worship God. Right. People can say anything, but I love my God. I hope you too. So, sorry about how I'm getting excited, but I love God. Amen. Now the word of God came to John in the son of Amatai saying, Arise, go to Nineveh, that great city. Misael goes to North Carolina, the great city. Misael Bay. A North Carolina, a Carolina del Norte, una gran ciudad, where Duke and you didn't see it all the time. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to take any side because I don't want to be sued. No quiero decir que soy de Duke y de Loco, soy de Cristo, I'm from God. No hay any problems here. So, great, go to that great city. And cried out against it, for the wickedness has come up before me. But Jonah arose and flee <coughs> to Tarsh from the presence of the Lord. He went down to Joppa and found a ship going to Tarsh. So he paid the fare and went down into it. To go with them to touch it from the presence of the Lord. So Jonah said, You know what? I'm going to go to another place because I don't think that's the right place for me. Jonas dijo, ¿Sabe qué? Ese es el lugar para mí. I'm going to go to another place. Voy a ir a otro lugar. And sometimes we want it to feel comfortable where we are. We want it to feel good about where we are. And sometimes God takes you out of your comfort zone to be in the right place. A veces Dios nos saca de nuestra nuestro lugar de conformismo para ponernos en el lugar que quiere. It's not my way, it's God's way. Maybe Burger King is Burger King is me. My way is God's way. When God tells you to go to anyway. I, I, I'm tired, God. Uh, it's Sunday. I don't want to get up, you know. Uh, I'm going to stay at home, watching TV, the game. I'll be fine. But Dios no está diciendo hoy, you have to. God is telling us today, you have to obey. Dios no está diciendo, tiene que obedecer. We don't like it, but it's true. Amen? Don't get mad at me. <laughs> now, today I'm going to show you really quick <clears throat> three benefits of obeying God. Three benefits. That's it. That's, that's what I'm going to touch really quick. When you obey, regardless if you're a kid, a young, an adult, a senior, aunque tú seas joven, niño, adulto, o anciano, we need to obey. Sometimes when we think that we know everything, we feel so powerful. Amen. 
I got the suit on me. I feel powerful. What about when you take out the suit? Are you still the same? Regardless of what I have, God's still God. Amen. Now, three benefits of obeying God. The first one is the remission of sin. God will forgive your sin. When you obey, what God's going to do? Forgive your sin. Let's go to please Acts 10 43 and look what the Bible said. Vamos a por favor a Hechos. Hechos 10 43. Miren como dice Hechos 10 43. Look what uh, Acts 10 43 says. That's the uh, New King's uh, King James Version. You have many versions of that. You got cell phones and everything. <laughs> And my dad was preaching, he didn't get that. He didn't have no Facebook. Praise the Lord. But the master's wife preached. <laughs> so, the first one, remission of sin. And look what Acts 10 43 says. To him, all of the prophet witness that through his name, however, believing him will receive remission of sins. How many times do we make mistakes? How many times we say sorry? ¿Cuántas veces decimos perdón? A day, did your husband do something? Pick us with a flower? And then they, out of that flower, you really got to change, honey. You really got to change, honey. Sometimes we think that we can buy a flower. A veces creemos que podemos comprarla con una rosa, con una flor, pero ellas necesitan ver cambios. They need to see changes in your life. That's right. And vice versa. A woman did something of, uh, honey, I forgot. <laughs> Just like a kid, I forgot, honey. Remember, I told you to pay the bills. You forgot to pay the bills. I go to work and you pay the bills. I know that that's what you say happened in your house. Le decimos a la esposa, mi amor, paga el bill. I forgot, honey. And they cut the lights. Praise the Lord. We need to hold it and let go. Forget and forget. Forget. Help me, please. 
I don't know the words, I always change the words, the lyrics. Siempre cambio la letra. Amazing. Our God is an awesome God. And look what uh, John 16, 22 says. Therefore, you, now, not tomorrow. What does it say? Now. Sometimes we want to change tomorrow. And we keep walking with the past. And the present is a gift. And God is telling you, now, not tomorrow. I don't want to have joy tomorrow. I want to enjoy it now. now. When you're hungry, you're not hungry tomorrow. You're hungry when? Now. now. Let's, let's eat some lunch. Let's go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> some people love that. I haven't had breakfast. Hello. <laughs> let's say what we mean now. God wants us to bless us now. To have joy. Therefore, you now have sorrow. But I will see you again, and your heart will rejoice. Read means to do it over and over and over again. Read, rejoice. And your joy, no one will take it away from you. Regardless of the situation you're going through, God is with you. And our good news, God is beside you. Don't quit. The joy of the Lord. And sometimes joy is not <laughs> for being so, you know, emotional. It's not about the emotion. It's about knowing that God is God in your life. No se trata de una noción de que tengo mucho gozo, pero por dentro me estoy muriendo. How many people seem like they're happy, but they are dying inside? We need to be. Transparent. Necesitamos ser transparentes before God. God is coming soon. And Jonah went another way. I don't want to preach about that because I think the pastor is going to preach about that too. So, let's go to the third one and the last one. Vamos a ir a la tercera, tercer punto, and the last one. Wow. The benefit of being obedient is to have the Father's love. I know to how my father goes to me. I was going to put a picture of my dad. My dad is 87 years old. He means he been Christian for more than 75 years old. For 75 years. My nine uncles are pastors. But my father is really special to me. And I just got my birthday. And he told me, son, I would like to be with you. Sometimes you need your daddy. You need to hug him. Let him know how important it is to have a father. And you know, as men, nosotros como hombres, we need to take care of our son and our daughters. And let them know how poor they are to us. Don't wait until the last minute to say, you're important to me. Sometimes we come and say, I'm sorry. When we see your body playing. But I tell you, the best gift that you can give to your father and mother is to obey yeah. and to let them know how important they are to you. Love covers multitude of sin. El amor cubre multitud de faltas. El amor sana. Love is the best gift that I can ever have. Amen. And every time I hug my daughter, she told me, Daddy, I love you. It means the world to me. Maybe not to you, but yes to me. Everything, every time she listens to me, regardless, she's one, one month. She's one year, seven months, and a few days. And I tell sweet Melody, 
please give me the notebook to give it to me. You think it's way too small, but it's insignificant, they say it's significant, but for me it has value. It has love. The Father's love. How many of you think about it? How many of you sometimes maybe need a help? ¿Cuántas veces necesitamos a lo mejor? Maybe not you, but me, yes. You need a help. Somebody tell you I care for you. And our Father, that is in heaven, and lives in our heart, He wants to help you. And tell you, I love you anyway. I don't, I don't care where you're coming from. If you speak Spanish or English or Japanese, I'm God. And I love you. My beloved son, my beloved daughter, I love you. Imagine that Jesus come today to that door. You will stay in the same place. I will run to Jesus and say, Jesus, I love you. Yo correría a Jesús y le dije, Jesús, yo te amo. I love you, Jesus. He died for us. We're going to celebrate Easter. It's not only Sunday, it's every day. Let's read the scripture in John 14, 23. Jesus answered. And Jesus responded and said to him, If anyone loved me, he will keep my word. And my Father will love him. And we will come to him and make our home with him. Yeah. Okay. And sometimes we make mistakes. Let's be real. The woman that was going to be stoned, everybody was ready to stone. But Jesus wrote something in the dirt. If you don't have any sand, throw the stone. And all the Pharisees, they have the stone and they come. Jesus told the woman, go and say no more. And God is telling me today, regardless of your situation, I love you. Don't look at me. I'm just a servant. I don't want titles. I don't like titles. I just want to serve God. Jesus died on the cross 
for us. And Jesus is telling us today to obey Him and love Him. Dios nos está diciendo hoy, Jesús, obedeceme, háblame. Y si Él me amas, guarda mis mandamientos. If today you want the love of Jesus in your heart once again to arise in your heart, in your family, in your marriage, in your personal life. If you want that love that covers the multitude of sin, I just want today to do something different. Just raise your hand and say, Jesus, I want your love in my heart. If you want to say, just Lord, I want in my I want, I want that love, that peace, that joy. Just, just raise your hand today and say, Lord, I want that joy and that love from you. I'm the first one to say, God, I want your love in my heart. I see some hands. There's some brave people that are willing to say, love covers multitude of sin. We make mistakes sometimes. You can put your hands down. Thank you. And I want to, I want to just say that this prayer. I want you to say this prayer with me. If you raise your hand or you didn't raise your hand, I really want love in my heart from God. Si levantaste tu mano y dijiste, Señor, yo quiero, yo quiero amarte, yo quiero obedecerte. Me gustaría que hicieras esta oración conmigo. If you really want to obey God, regardless of what is around you, I want you to say about this prayer with me. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for your love. Thank you for your forgiveness. Thank you for the joy of the Lord in our hearts. Thank you for the love in our hearts. I pray that we learn to love one another like you love us in the cross. And I pray that you erase all the sin. All the sin will go away so you can reign in our life. Señor, yo hoy, yo hoy declaro que tú limpias nuestro corazón, que tú borras toda maldad, que tú borras todo pecado y nos empieza a dar vida y vida en abundancia. Que cuando nosotros obedezcamos a Dios, todo se ha roto y haya libertad, y haya amor, y haya gozo en nosotros. Perdona, Señor, nuestras ofensas, perdona nuestras deudas, lávanos en tu sangre. Y ayúdanos a levantarnos cada día y amarte más. In this in Jesus' name that we pray. Y en el nombre de Jesús que oramos. And we will say together. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. I, this morning, I know that maybe I am going to be with you. Anything
to move forward from this place, God, in obedience, knowing what you commanded us to do, and feeling willing and courageous enough and bold enough to go out and actually live. Would you forgive us for our failures? And would you strengthen us in our weakness? And would you allow us, God, to, to go and be the examples that you call us to be? Would you allow us to go and speak your truth and to create relationships with this community and to see those leading people to Christ? God, would you, would you let us be obedient? Would you not let anyone leave here without having met with you? It's Amen. Amen.